Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're going to answer a subscriber's question. Um, Roy writes me, hi Dimitri, I'm curious if the quant industry employs the up and out, or other word known as hire and fire policy, like what McKinsey, Boston Consulting, Bain Management Consulting firms are famous for doing. Um, in these firms, it's well known, if you're deemed not suitable, very quickly you will get counseled out. Uh, Cora has many anecdotal examples uh, they say if one of these firms, if you don't get promoted in two years, you have to take a leave. Uh, I've also read somewhere in Wall Street, the bottom 10% will get asked to leave every year. Is the hire and fire generally true in Wall Street firms, investment banking, private equity, asset management, quant funds, hedge funds? I can only imagine if you're a quant and well-paid, there will be expectations. Once again, thanks for taking questions. All right, so in the quant world, this doesn't really happen, um, at least not from what I've seen on the banking side. On the investing side, I could see this happening more so. Um, the reason being is because it's profitable if you don't do your job and there's high expectations on trading firms to be profitable and it doesn't end up working out, um, you're gonna get high turnover. Uh, but in general, for a lot of quants and quant positions, uh, we're, we're math nerds, okay? <laughs> That's the easy way to say it. Math, stats, computer science nerds. Uh, a lot of us are doing like heavy thinking work and a lot of times we're on the back end of this so i'd say traders are front office or front end um, quants are typically you can call them middle office it makes you feel better but uh, we're typically back end we're behind the doors doing the math building the models building the tools putting strategy together um, i've never seen any of the central up and out or higher and fire policies yes i've heard stories about them when i was an undergrad in my business degree studying finance uh, but no i've never seen it in the quant world um, in the banking side. So let me clarify that. I've never seen it in the quant banking side. Um, do they still do it in Wall Street? I'm sure they do. Again, this is <laughs> this goes outside of my realm here. I live in my own little quant finance bubble. Uh, but those on the like private equity, investment banking, asset management side, uh, at the big firms, I can definitely see this happening. The reason being is that there's so many people, they're bringing in all these different people and they need to keep the best of the best and they need to create space for next year's hires to come in. Um, you always have essentially a churn rate, so people are gonna be coming and going. Um, yeah, I could see it happening at bigger banks. I have not seen it though. The quant side doesn't really experience this. Uh, model development, model validation, risk management. Um, for the most part, we don't really have this. I think quant finance is pretty laid back. It's pretty chill. Uh, even at firms, so I, I'm not speaking for them at all, but hedge funds vary depending on how big the hedge fund is, how small it is, if it's family ran, if it's big corporate ran. Um, but again, a lot of these are fairly consistent. Um, it's when you get to the higher levels though, you're expected to perform and bring in money for these firms and banks. That's when essentially your performance will either make or break you. So if you're at a high level, you're senior manager, you're not delivering, they'll just cut you and bring someone else in. But again, I don't think that that I've ever seen, you know, the kind of like the 10% rule, which I've heard about. I think a lot of these kind of practices are dying out as the industry is getting kind of more mature and it's kind of progressing across time. So anyways, I hope that answers your question. I wish I could have answered more on the traditional finance side, um, maybe on the hedge fund side a little more. But in general, from a banking side, it doesn't really happen. It's one reason I like to work in banking in general, super laid back. Uh, they treat you well and the comp's pretty good as well. So Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, until next time.